guys, so today we're going to be doing subtraction using the part part whole model. It's quite similar to addition. So with addition you're finding the two parts and then you're adding them together to find the whole. With subtraction they give you the whole number first and then you need to break it into one part and you're taking one part away to find out how much you have left on the other part. I'm going to model how to do this. I hope you enjoy. So here is a part part whole model. In subtraction we are given the whole number and we are asked to subtract a part. The answer would be the other part. Let's show an example. Here we have five balloons so five is our whole number. But what if two of those balloons popped? One of the parts would be two so it would be five subtract two. How many balloons do we have left? Three. So three must be my other answer. Let's see this written down. Five subtract two equals three. We can also switch the parts around. Five subtract three equals two. I'm going to show you how to do subtraction using the part part whole model. So with subtraction, I like to put the whole number in because we know the whole number and the whole number goes here. So how many do we need to put in for the whole number? 11, let's go. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now we have 11, so we know that when we add them all together, we have 11. And we have one of the parts as well. So one of the parts is four. So part of this whole number is going to be four. So I'm going to move one of my parts to this part. It doesn't matter which one I put it to, but I'm putting it over here, which means that this part must be my other. Let's count how many we have left in the other part. One, two, three, four, five, six, 11. 11 take away 4 equals 7. 9 take away 1. So again, we have my whole number and we have one part. So let's pop this down. In my whole number I have 9. Now I've got 9. One of my parts is 1. So let's put 1 down there. That must mean that all of these go into this part. Should we count? what my answer is. One, two, three, four, five, no you don't, six, seven, eight. Nine take away one equals eight. 